Hi guys! Today I'll be showing you my everyday look. This is the look I wear every day on my way to work. I'm showing you my Be Fearless shirt that I ordered from Gabe over at Gabe and Babe TV. So let's get started. My primer has already been applied. My brows are filled in. I'm just setting the concealer on my eyelids with the L'Oreal True Match powder in the color Sun Beige. And it kind of works as my base color, as well as giving me a smooth surface to work with so that my other shadows blend out a little bit better. And as you can see, I'm kind of testing it, make sure it's smooth. So the next thing I'm going to do is to go in with an e.l.f. blending brush and use Max Soft Brown, and that's my transition shade. Just sweeping that onto both eyes, not staying too much in the crease, but kind of warming up that area. Now I'm going into my Nordstrom Neutrals palette and I'm going to use Max Saddle with the same brush. Just going into the crease to warm it up a little bit more. And that's an e.l.f. blending brush again. And now that I've got that done, I'm going to carve out the crease a little bit more with Max handwritten and a tapered elf blending brush and I got this brush at Big Lots it just says a it says a blending brush on the on the brush itself on the handle but it's really more of a tapered brush so as you can see I'm kinda just keeping that in the crease staying tight not really going out too far I dropped my liquid liner <laughs> that is the NYC liquid liner in black and it's the matte one. They do have one that has a little bit of a shimmer but I like the matte one and I'm just lining my top lash line very lightly and um, I have to make sure that I kinda get it even so that's what I'm doing there. Now I'm gonna go line the other side and I'm not doing a wing liner because like I said this is my everyday work look so it's nothing special, but I just like a little definition at the lash line. So that looks okay. I'm going to move on to color correcting. And first, I'm using the Mary Kay Highlight Pen in shade 3. Oh, well, I forgot to do my primer, so I went back to this sample Smashbox Primer Oil that I got in this month's Ipsy Bag. And I really like it. Even though I have oily skin, it, it really does help to keep my makeup on and it moisturizes too. So I put that on to let it set for a little bit. Now I'm going in with the Mary Kay Highlight Pen in shade 3, which is a peachy undertone. And I'm going to add a little LA Girl Orange Corrector. And as you can see, it was not coming out. So I was like, okay, any day now. So I just mix those together with a Real Techniques Concealer Brush. Just blending it together right on the eye and going to the other side this will cancel out the dark circles and any discoloration that I have under my eye and I just blend it out to kind of cover from the corner of my eye outwards I don't take it too far down so now I'm, I forgot to do my highlight this is Vapor by MAC I'm just putting a little bit on my brow bone not too much it's not a shimmer but it is more of a satin finish so I don't want to add too much to make the eyelid look shiny as the day goes on and the oils come through now I'm mixing Maybelline's Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, Foundation in the shades 330 Toffee and 322 Warm Honey and I'm using a little spatula and a foam tray to kind of mix that together to get a shade that matches me pretty well And this is uh, where I kind of move my hair out of the way and make sure I don't get any foundation on it. I'm just dotting it all over my face. And I'm going to, once I get, you know, a dot pretty much everywhere that will give me enough coverage, then I go in with an e.l.f. blending brush. And I'm kind of lightly patting and swiping or making circular motions in some areas, making sure I spread it out evenly. And this is one of my favorite foundations. It doesn't really stay matte on me, 
so but it's you know a good option for every day just going to work and I work with a bunch of men so they won't notice if I'm wearing Maybelline or Mac you know they don't know the difference I just do it for me I like to have even smooth skin so now that I've got that all blended out I'm going to highlight under my eyes with the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer and this is the shade 40 medium I don't really drag this down too far I just really I concentrate it on the under eye area I take it over to my nose a little bit and down the side of my nose and to make sure I get the outer corner and the edges of my eye area where I have a little bit of discoloration sometimes and to also kind of clean up if I went too far over with shadow and that kind of thing so now that I've got that all blended out I'm going to set my under eye with the Laura Mercier translucent finishing powder and that's an elf blush brush but I like it it's really um, shaped and tapered to fit right under the eye area so now that I've done that I'm gonna lightly dust the rest of my face with the Laura Mercier powder and this is a powder brush from Target it's the up and up brand um, the Target brand of brushes you can buy them separately or you can get them in a set so I like this one because it's fluffy and I got some on my shirt that's what happens when you wear black so now I'm using the Milani romantic rose blush with a real techniques blush brush it's one of my favorite blush brushes actually so now I'm trying to find my favorite liner brush which I got in a set from Sam's Club um, Queenie Rosenblatt mentioned that Sam's Club had brush sets and makeup at Christmas and I was like well let me go check my Sam's Club and there I was trying to open the, the Wet n Wild palette the, it, it was the Fergie palette Milano but they've repackaged it so it is still available I'm just using the dark brown and the black shade from the end of the palette to lightly define my lash line I don't really do pencil or gel on my waterline because it gets oily during the day and it will smudge and run and this doesn't really stay as much as I'd like it to but I, I prefer to use powder especially if I'm not going to be home for 8 to 10 hours and I don't want to look like a raccoon at the end of the night so this little pencil smudger brush works perfectly for that and I went a little too far out of the line but it's okay so now I'm gonna move on to mascara after I finish messing with my eyes and trying to even them up and I finally just decided okay that's enough the Too Faced Better Than Sex is my mascara of choice right now but I have to curl my lashes first because if I don't they will not curl on their own they, they grow down you can kind of see on my left eye when I'm looking you know curling my lashes kind of grow down and I have to curl them or you won't know that I've got you know mascara and they're still small and very thin but this mascara does a good job of making them look a little thicker so I don't put on a whole lot because if I weigh my lashes down with too much product they will go back flat they won't stay curled but this mascara actually helps the curls stay in longer than any others I've ever used and I like it because the brush is designed to grab all of those teeny little lashes that I have I don't have a lot of lashes but the ones I do have are kinda fine and baby like so I'm going to put mascara on the other eye and I film in the mornings before I go to work because that's when my house is quiet and I can concentrate if I did it before that my kids would still be home and at night my husband is home and I literally have no place in my house that I can do this and have peace and quiet except my master bedroom closet which is way too small for that so for now I film in the mornings after my kids are gone to school because I'm getting ready to go to work anyway so I forgot to pick a lip color before I got started and that's why I'm looking like uh oh what am I gonna put on my lips and since this was just a you know everyday work look I decided to go with a gloss because that's easy and this is a neutral shade it's it was a pink and gold swirl it's a limited edition lip gloss by Mary Kay and it's called in harmony 
and I think it looks really good with my skin tone um, the pinks and the golds kind of work together so I just put that on no real you know precision to it it's just lip gloss and there you have the finished look so I'm just gonna take my hair down kind of try to get it to do something it had rained the day before I filmed this and I got caught in the rain so it wasn't the best and then it's I'm letting it grow out so it's a little bit shaggy but you know you work with what you got so thank you guys for watching I hope to see you in the next video please um, comment like and subscribe to see more videos thank you